No, think? I'm too serious. No. I mean, I know for a fact that I've seen that they don't call me. Maybe the maybe it's Dolphin Page. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you want to hit that, or if you want to just like do these stuff. Like, and it's just kind of like be that and be like, it's fine. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll just get that started looping, and then we'll figure it out. So we, we like if you if you want to do that. kind of just like music that I'd make without a name and uh, I'd record it in my room mostly starting uh, I got some software like freshman year college recorded some in my dorm and then moved to a house and recorded there and then um, in 2006 maybe uh, it was my sophomore year no junior year of, co of college I, uh, I I don't know I, I call it the woods because that's and when I when I was writing about Tallahassee, that's what I referred to it as. So I got some friends involved, and it started like I did a couple songs on myself, started on MySpace, put them up, and then um, put the band together over the summer. Uh, start off with me, David Geis, Hunter Savage, uh, Micah Vandegrift, uh, Tim Brown, and Sophia Romanowski. I um, started started writing those songs a long time ago. I had them, uh, the first, I had like three done by the time we put together that band. And um, I just kept on writing them and then I had, had an overall story in mind. My, like the air conditioning was leaking in my room and just annoying and our house was like never getting fixed. And I just, and I just got fed up with Tallahassee, got arrested, almost arrested, assaulted, I don't know what you want to call it. So I was mad at football and the police in Tallahassee. So I just wanted to get out, and that's kind of what it was about. But I mean, I turned it more into like a children's story. And I uh, started recording it after I graduated. I was writing it the whole time. Got like some recording equipment uh, over the course of those two years, and then started actually recording it after I graduated. So that summer, last summer of 2007, and um, recorded it with, with people up here. Just got a lot of help in the room. Recorded in my bedroom. Then I moved home to, uh, back home to Coco, the house that I grew up in, and finished it there. Got people from around there, like my family, to help out. And then finished it in uh, February, I think, of 2008. Mm -hmm. So.
Matthew David or Matthew or Maddie or Matty D Matty D of the woods I'm incorporating a lot of new devices so it's you know I hope it all works out I think I need more RAM in my computer but mm -hmm. um, just try to be really careful and in the background not in the forefront at all I mean Ian has kind of like a low fidelity thing and experimental thing happening in the background anyway and collaboratively for the album I just kind of sent him samples and then uh, with my background for like mastering attempted that and it all turned out pretty good and just kind of added more textural atmospheric uh, ambiance for the album and trying to recreate that during the last here for two years two and a half years and that totally opened me up and all my friends were art art students so uh, I don't know why I was a business major but it may get me a job a pretty good job uh, I just hope everything works out and I'm really looking forward to traveling and there's this there's this feeling inside me that everything's gonna be great but also something that's you no know, I'm kind of nervous but it's more excitement than nerve-wracking You ready? In a second. Alright. Yeah, Aaron, man. God.
Saturday. Uh, tour plan tonight. We're playing Tallahassee. We've been. I planned it myself through MySpace and the internet. Uh, probably like starting three months ago. It's pretty hard. You know, everything worked out. Uh, but it should be fun. Um, put together a group. Some of the old people. Some new people. Just anyone that could go. Uh, and we practice for a week here, and we're starting Tallahassee tonight, going up to Massachusetts, back down and ending in Merritt Island, which is Brevard County, like where I'm from, so. Right here? Right here. Okay. So, are you excited about the tour? Yeah, very excited. And have you performed with Ian before? Um, I think once or twice, but nothing like this. And you were recorded on the album? Mm hmm Yeah. Um, two songs. Singing or playing too? Or? Um, I just sang on the album, but okay. I'm playing keyboard and singing okay. on the set. Have you ever been on a tour before? No. Tell me, uh, well, Sophia was nervous at the beginning of the week because she was going to be the only girl. How do you think it's going to be to be in a van for, you know, weeks. so many weeks with a couple guys, with a bunch of guys? It's probably going to suck. <laughs> 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 but I got Sophia. Right. So it'll suck a little less. Right. Good. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? Um, it's going to be a good tour. <laughs> oh, hi. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Dave Guys of the Woods. How's it going? <laughs> yes, I did. I flew back from Los Angeles, took some, uh, some time off from my job in order to perform with the Woods. When we originally did The Woods, um, before I moved, um, I switched up a lot. I played more instruments, but now I'm sticking to bass. Sticking to bass. And are you satisfied with that? <laughs> um, it's always fun to switch off, but I think um, by playing the bass, it kind of gives me more solid ground in, in performing, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm not all, like, all over the place and frantic. I think it helps the performance a little, so... Sure. Yeah. I have known Ian, I actually, we met in high school. Um, we met in high school, I think he had the locker below me, and uh, I think we used to both talk about how we liked the Beatles a bunch. Um, but then I didn't, then he was a couple years below me, so I didn't really know him uh, too well, and went to college, hadn't seen him for like four or five years, and one of our friends was like, oh, I'm moving into this house. You should move into this house with uh, this guy, Ian. And then I met him, and we're like, we became really good friends. And we lived together, and then we started being in bands together. I have not been in a band that didn't have Ian Dudley in it. That was kind of annoying. Yeah. It's in the circuitry, yeah. Did you ever get that fixed? That's what, that's what they wanted to go pick it up now. How many shirts did you make? Uh, 40. You need to count. Mm. 40 of those, and we had like 16 of the purple ones left over. Cool. What did the... Purple ones look like? Oh yeah, that's the old one. We're DIY. Yeah. We do it... Well... <laughs> DIY. DI DI no. DI we do it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Dayo. Mm. Yeah, we, we figured out that um, Aaron's name was uh, Arandio. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you've been calling him? Yeah, well, just just, just once Dave, Dave was like, Arandio. <laughs> Kind of like the the lemon jello, orange jello. Yeah, where like everyone like you always meet someone at least once a year who claims to have a father <laughs> that taught a class. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I swear to God, when like I saw that bit on Comedy Central at least twice. <laughs> What's the deal? Orange jello and what was that? <laughs> Oh, it looked like it looked like orange jello and lemon jello. Whether <laughs> lemongelo and orangelo. <laughs> I've known at least like three people. No, I know that my friend. <laughs> she said that too. She's like, my friend's mother 
brother or something like knows somebody. I think. Um, is that? Uh, did, w did Sarah tell us that? Yeah, it was I think Sarah. She did. Someone told us. Did she? <laughs> yeah. She always says that. Like every time she meets. Is it? Is, is, is it? I think because it's after the CD, everyone has kind of like a bigger picture, and they're more like motivated, and they want to make it work. And before it kind of just seemed like a band that we're just like playing around, you know. Mm-hmm. But I think like it, I don't, it was, it was like the same, it was fun before and it's fun now, and, but it just seems like more put together now. Because people have the CD to refer yeah, to, like yeah. I know yeah. Ian's vision maybe for the song. Oh, I hope that, I mean it's not like, I don't think it'll be like on the radio, like that kind of music, but I think that at least later people will kind of look back on it and respect it. I don't know if now, like, people get it. I don't know. Maybe later they'll get it. But I think Ian's really motivated, and as long as he's doing it, I'll do it too. So. Uh, Aaron. <laughs> uh, he's pretty cool. He makes practice uh, pretty exciting. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of all um, based off of um, like folk, uh, I mean, that, that word is kind of weird now, but just acoustic guitar songs that I would write, but I'd always envision more, I like people being involved, epic sounds, I guess, field recordings, and, uh, kind of all those came together for it, but I mean, it all starts with this, like, a song that I would write on my guitar, mm -hmm. and, uh, this is the most natural thing, and then, in, in recording, I, Deconstructed a lot, and that 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 I think that gave it. A, I think like the recording process gave it a lot because I would record a song in the summer, and then by the time I was done, it didn't even. I mean, it's still the same song, but it. I would just hear something one day and be like, oh, I don't like that, or take it out, or completely change the song, or until I was finally happy with it. it took a long time, but mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, yeah. So I guess the, the recording process, and um, yeah, is what. It was a big part of how it turned out.
Um, Ian and I met in an art class, and uh, he was only my friend because I said I had a Rhodes. I need this crash in my interview, shit. I know, Dave Actually, got his own interview. I was about to say something really nice about Ian and I'd make him cry later on, but... You're making me cry right now. No, no one's got... Um, if the gas price get too high, then we'll just be chilling. <laughs> in, in Virginia? We, We've just been chilling. <laughs> yes. Will's too tall. Sphere's a dick. Ian's a dick. Um, Dave Geis is gay. And also, Ian is a dick. Nicole. Betty is a dick. <laughs> Hunter is gay and Micah is a dick. <laughs> also, Drew is a dick and John Ross is gay. <laughs> Try that on for size. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for the interview. Gas prices are too high. My dad can pay whatever for it. <laughs> <laughs> David's gay.
weren't playing guitar, what would you want to play instead of that? Bongos. Wait, but I mean, re repeat the question in the answer for editing purposes. Well, I gotta do it myself. <laughs> I wasn't playing guitar. I would like to play the bongos or the didgeridoo. Didgeridoo. Yes. Put you on the spot. How does it feel to be uh, playing with the woods, playing some of the parts that were pre-written before you got in the band, <laughs> and uh, and totally butchering them? <laughs> Um, Micah is a dick. It was, it, was, uh, it was tough. I didn't know if I was going to be able to butcher them <laughs> enough. But when I got here, I was like, oh, I can totally destroy those parts. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I heard the previous guitar player was a dick. Yeah, he has a vision. I don't know what it is, but, uh, you know, practice is for like I seven think, hours. I think we all write our parts and then he just claims it to be his vision after we all write yeah. our parts. <laughs> no, I, I'd agree with that probably. He let us off early one time. Like a half hour. Right. That was, that was a good Well, day. that's just because he had to use the bathroom. He didn't care about it. Yeah. And Jason, Jason Choi. Yeah. I pretty much taught him everything he knows. So, I mean, he's 15 years older than me. I mean, I'm usually pretty modest, but yeah, when I was when I was five, I kind of showed him his first maple fork licks. And, and they're on, you know. I don't like to take credit for his songs or anything, but Jason, I'm still waiting for some credit. For so. I'm a gay dick. Oh shit, did I not bring my belt? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You're distracting from <laughs>